Welcome back, guys, to Trails Through Daybreak, where last episode, heading into a cave to face the abductors of Marielle and Shahina, we found them in a daze before they turned to attack, dispatching the troublemaking Taurus with a girl in white watching on, Oc Genesis in her angelic doll's hand. With our rescue complete, Prince Shelid and Najee showed up next and decided to challenge us to a fight with their eyes on the agave plant shining in the background, with Fee Clausel intervening to stop the battle as we divvied up the hallucinogenic prize. Having returned to town and shared some intel with Fee, we have received another call of distress as now Sara has gone missing from Vegas Films. Sara. Oh, Shahina, it'll be okay. The last time I saw her was when we were on break during our rehearsal. She went to use the restroom and then never came back. I was getting pretty worried about how much time she was taking, so I checked with one of the guards. If I'd seen anybody like that, I'm confident I would have noticed. I checked every floor and couldn't find her anywhere. As far as I could tell, there are no signs she left for a side exit either. I'm only asking this to make sure, but... Your sister wasn't complaining about being in the parade or anything, was she? No, absolutely not. There's no way she would bail out of it. Yeah, she was absolutely fired up about it. Definitely. I mean, hell, it was getting us amped up too. Her mood was infectious. Not to mention, she has such tremendous talent. Dancing might not be my thing, but even I could feel it. That's because I have an eye for these things. They don't lie. That girl is a tremendous asset to the cavalcade. Not to mention she's a professional. I just can't see her getting cold feet over something like this all of a sudden. Alright, if you guys are sure. Sorry for asking, I didn't mean to offend anyone. I know, you're just doing what you need to. Anyway, seeing as we're talking about a civilian going missing, I'm going to have to get the guild involved. Everybody okay with that? Absolutely, we appreciate you helping us. I'll pay any amount. Mirror is no object. Just do whatever you have to in order to find that girl. My parade isn't complete without her, understand? What about you guys? What are you going to do? Like you need to ask, she's a client we swore to protect. There's only one thing for us to do. Although we might ask for a free dance later to make it worth our while. Sound good? Pan, thank you. We'll figure it out somehow. Don't do anything reckless while we're gone, got it? I... I don't know what you're talking about. Mind your own business. Alright, I'm going to fill the others in at the guild branch. I'll also find out what's going on with the police. I'll pretty much be doing the same thing, hitting up sources in various places. I'll be sure to let Brimoni know what's going on too. That'll be great. Thanks, you two. What's with all of this racket? The festival is nearly here. What could have possibly happened to cause such chaos? What? You haven't heard? That girl I scouted out yesterday. Sorry, she disappeared. Nobody knows where she went. Oh, is that so? We have to act. Get the company in a gear and start throwing everything we've got. I don't care if it takes every single employee. We've got to find Sara now. Now, now, don't you think you're being just a little rash, Goddy? We're talking about a dancer. What's it to us if one or two of them run away? What? But my sister, she's... Hold on, Dylan. Where the hell is this attitude coming from? This is serious. By all appearances, it's very likely she didn't simply disappear. Please, her up and poofing away does nothing to hamper our final preparations for the festival. If one of you two went missing, it'd be another matter, but her? She's merely some extra one of us hired on a hunch. Nothing more. Are you out of your mind? How many times do I have to explain it to you? Sara is not some extra. She's irreplaceable. She's the linchpin for all my plans. My parade isn't complete without... Enough. I'm done listening to this. As far as I'm concerned, as long as the cavalcade proceeds in some fashion or another, that's all that matters. If this woman turns up, wonderful. If not, you'll simply have to compromise on your grand vision, Gotti. Ah. What is that fool's problem? That was so, so cold. How could he? It seems pretty clear to me that the walls are closing in on him. Indeed, that does seem like more than it simply being the day before the festival and deciding a change of tack is impractical. I think so too. We got the circumstantial evidence, now we just gotta figure out what move to make. Mr. Gotti, I'm sure Sara will come back. I just know it. She always pulls through. She could come down with a cold before a big show and she'd still shake it off and dance her best ever. She just might run a little late and need more time than usual. 
But until then, let me help. Bring me on as a good luck charm for getting her back. I hope Shahina's going to be okay. Don't worry, she will be. She's got Judith with her. Oh, I'm surprised. I've never seen anyone manage to be so persuasive with Mr. Gotti before. <laughs> Despite only being 15 years old, she is already a true professional. I certainly find myself impressed. I'm sure she gets a lot of her strength from her sister. Sara seems like a wonderful role model. Yeah, she really does. Oh, my dear sweet girl, that's such a generous offer. But there's no way you could possibly replace your sister in my parade. When I grew up watching her dance, there's nobody that understands what she does better than me. Nobody else is going to be as good as... You and your sister are two very different ladies. Her dancing and sex appeal are completely her own. It's not enough to just be related and dance the same dance. You still won't have the same effect on the people watching. Frankly, my dear, you just aren't a good fit for the sort of parade I've got in mind. I can't... I can't take this anymore! I hate seeing Sara being the only one working so hard day after day. She always brushes it off like it's nothing, trying to make sure I don't see how much it all hurts her. Sometimes, she even goes out pretending like she's off to see her boyfriend. I wish she had someone like that. I wish that was what's going on, but she can't fool me. Poor Shahina. So she knew all along. <sighs> Maybe I can't match up to her now, but that doesn't mean I can't train hard! I can make any outfit you put on me work too! If I can't just totally replace my sister, then we can find something that'll fit me! I won't just live up to your vision. Give me a chance, and I'll blow it out of the water with something even better! Oh! Wow. Damn. Alright, young lady, you're on! But if you're going to talk that big, you'd better walk that big as well. Failure is not an option. And hey, if your sister comes back, we'll get you both in the parade and make you two a duo for the ages. Mr. Gotti, you're the best. Mr. Gotti, thank you. Ah, hardly. You know me. When I set my mind on something, I don't let anything get in my way. That's just the kind of man I am. Festival is tomorrow. I expect you to train your buns off till the very last minute. Got it? Yes, sir. I wouldn't have it any other way. From what I've seen, your technique is solid enough. You already know how to mimic your sister's moves. That means we need to focus on polishing your steps and making sure your charm comes through. Come on, I'll show you how a world-class actress knocks her audience off their feet. It's probably gonna take us all night. But that's what it'll take to get you on your sister's level. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. As for you, Nina, you're in charge of keeping in touch with these doofuses in the guild. Stay on top of everything, okay? Yeah, I can handle that. Nice. Sounds to me like we're all set. Let's roll those cameras, people! She's clearly earned her reputation as a best-in-class actress. Yeah, seems like she's got a good beat on Shahina's skills. She'll get her ready. <laughs> Hard to believe she's such a bumbling mess off the job. <laughs> right? I respect her a bit more now. <laughs> what are you talking about? Inside joke between us. Don't worry about it. Anyway. Now that you've heard the gist of things, has this rung any bells you might have overlooked before? Maybe any doubts or suspicions you've had about Vegas films? They're talking about the rumors of its relationships with the underworld and drug trafficking, right? I really don't want to believe that such a big company in my own line of work could be involved in such things. But it's true that Vegas has been expanding in a way that can't be explained just by Mr. Gotti's involvement. And yes, I've heard bits and pieces. People around the industry have a lot to say about Vegas. So when that threatening note came in, it did feel like something bigger was going on. I'm not sure what, but it's there. Wow, I didn't realize there was so much intrigue going on before we even arrived. The company is the culprit behind this. There's no way that snooty president is clueless about it all. And if that's true, man's up to his nose in drug running. At least on some level. 
Who knows what's up with the notes, but after all that, he's got to have something to do with Sara going missing, right? I guess, but could a guy like him really... Nina, are you okay? Sorry, I'm okay-ish. This is all just rattling me a bit more than normal. Like Fairy said, it's hard for me to picture Mr. Dillon doing such things. I mean, we're talking about the same man who's always getting pushed around by Mr. Gotti, including allowing the parade at all. Even if he were a man with more backbone, the risks involved with illicit drug smuggling are considerable. Which means you believe Mr. Dillon doesn't or shouldn't have the courage to arrange something so flagrantly illegal? Yeah, so I'm not trying to dismiss everything you're saying or have seen, but it's just so hard to reconcile. Uh, be that as it may, the circumstances paint him as our most likely culprit. Even if he's normally not brave, what if for some reason he had no choice but to play along with such a scheme? Ah, I see what you're getting at. That's an excellent point. It would be perfectly plausible for criminal elements to do something underhanded to make him comply. So wait, let me get this straight. We don't know how involved he is in whatever's going on. You're saying that he could have been threatened into somehow helping this drug trafficking you are talking about. Yeah, maybe. That's sure how it looks. It's almost certain that Dylan used Almata's help to grow Vegas films into the juggernaut it is today, as fast as he did. The money funneled to the political and financial sectors, the murky fundraising, Mezzeldam's festival going kaput, which was perfect for him. Even if it seems like everything's going his way, all he's been doing is squeezing further under his benefactor's thumb. Being under our mother's thumb is a sure way to get crushed. I hadn't thought of it like that. Well, this is getting all amazingly grim. In that case, good old Dylan probably isn't going to stop at drug trafficking. I bet he's being put up to do something even worse, right? Like, say something that could go down during the film festival here? Then the notes we've been receiving are... Indeed, Armato has taken advantage of the film festival to plan something in this part of the country. Caught in the middle of it, it would seem Mr. Dylan wants to take action before something hideous happens. But he wishes to do it without quashing the festival. Simply doing that could bring the underlying conflict to the surface. Then does that mean that Snooty Guy is behind the notes? Yes, the more I think about it, the more I think clicks into place. It all adds up. Though wait, couldn't that also implicate him in Sara disappearing when she did? It sure could, which would indicate Armata didn't snatch her. She sure didn't banish her own free will. Gaspar Dillon abducted her and took her somewhere. Then, darling, I've got big news for you. Nice, you figured it out. I analyzed the plant you sweethearts found against the substance in those rioting around town, and we have a match. They're completely identical. Oh, wow. Needless to say, it was found on the guys who kidnapped Marielle and that dancer. This confirms, without a doubt, that it was an illegal drug. When did you... Where'd you get that? Hold on. How the hell are you able to go over the cop's head and run that sort of test? With this fancy testing device that Van got for me after pulling some strings, that's how. That would have been for nothing, were it not for your knowledge of pharmacology. That's Bermotti. He never fails to impress. Oh, hush you two. I only know a little from dabbling in it back in the day, that's all. Hey, that sounds like... Looks like you owe me again, Van. Oh, come on, Renee. We're all in this together. Lane, and is that... Oh, yeah, I remember you two talking to someone yesterday, all suspicious-like. That explains a few things. Eh, yeah, never hurts to have a little insurance. When I saw those idiots going nuts yesterday, I figured the possibility we'd run into trouble was there. Clearly, your instincts are as sharp as ever. If I'd known illicit drugs would be involved, I would have traveled to Tharbad, too. No, we're fine. What you're doing right now is extremely important. We can handle the situation here. That analyzer is the latest model from the Basel Institute of Science. It'll be perfectly accurate, don't worry. As for the form the drugs have taken and how they're being distributed, we're looking into that on our end. But I'm sure you already have some ideas about all that. Wait, you do? Uh, really? I might, and I bet our diligent little concierge does as well. 
Mm -hmm. Nothing gets past you, does it, Mr. Arkwright? Well, aren't you two such geniuses? But yeah, some did fill off to me. Take it none of those dumbasses have mentioned anything about buying drugs so far. Nope, not at all. And that's really the trick. They said they didn't even remember taking anything like that, right? Is it possible they could have been forced to ingest it somehow? It would need to have been right before the film festival and distributed in a way that wouldn't catch the police or girls' attention. Ah. Uh, if there's any way to pull that off, it would have been... Forcible injection? A black market dealer at a nightclub? Wow, well, they all went to the nightclub and they all had a black market day. <laughs> that would mean they were literally buying the drugs. Mixing it into a consumable. Hmm. <laughs> It's... Look, look. Simple message of this chapter is just don't vape. Bad for you. Very bad for you. Putting chemicals in your body, they're pre-mixed, you don't even know where they're from. Bad. Wait, what about those new oil hookers that seem so popular recently? Come to think of it, the man who kidnapped Shahina and Mariel had them. What if the drugs were mixed into the vapor ingredients of the hookers? What? Oh, interesting hypothesis. Not just interesting, I think you've got it in one. I think we can get the CID and Guild to step in. The festival's in enough trouble as it is. Anything to help it kick off more smoothly is worth it at this point, I think. Yeah, I mean, I could have earned that 2SP a day ago. <laughs> It's in the vapes! Oval hookers had exploded in popularity and far bad in recent days, particularly within the entertainment district. My god, it must be super addictive as well, whatever they're doing. Easily obtainable by curious members of the public, the paraphernalia was sold by numerous vendors throughout the city. Further testing by Bermotti and the company confirmed that the substance smoked in them was indeed the illicit drug in question. In response, the guild and local police decided to confiscate the devices in secret. With the CID's help, cells of the hookers throughout the city were put to a halt in short order. And now Van and the others returned to the inn to take a brief break before getting back to business. I just like the development of this because at first it was kind of to me, oh, let's look, it's another sign of Trails' mark of technology where it's a couple of years happen and they're getting even more modern to what we're doing and something from the modern world is being brought in here now. And then it's like you get through, you, get, you go through that day and you wait, wait a second, it's not just that. They're using something that's so traditional for Trails, that ridiculous march, as a plot point too. <laughs> It's pretty cool. <laughs> After getting in touch with some of their collaborators, the group took off for Vegas Films once more. Guess there was kind of a commotion over at the bazaar. Granted, that was the point, but still. I'm just relieved that the hookers could all be confiscated before any more damage could be done. At this rate, we've laid down the groundwork and gathered the evidence. For now, the guild and cops are simply going to be monitoring things. If we're going to act, now's our chance. Indeed, there is no time like the present. Let us proceed to Vegas Films. We should probably check in with Shahina and see how she's doing while we're at it. Nighttime action. Nighttime sweep. Any quests going down? How's the cultural district looking? Can I go back there? Also, we are breaking into this Vegas way. films. <laughs> we're not doing this the nice way. Looks like the cops were conducting some kind of search on the store over there. They were hauling out those orbital hookers I've been seeing around town lately. I had some customers who smoked that stuff. Now that I think about it, they were all definitely acting a little loopy. Looking to buy something? See you again. Quite a clever way to do this stuff. I mean, I'm assuming you could do that in real life. Has it actually happened in real life? Is is there an inspiration for this? 
Is this something that happened in real life with tampered with vape chemicals? <laughs> I'm wondering. Or is this going to give an idea for a future thing? <laughs> I saw that the cops had been more active around here lately, so I got curious and decided to ask what was up. They wouldn't tell me much, but it sounds like there's something bad going around the city that's causing problems. With all the fights that have been breaking out, I bet they're after what's making people go nuts. I mean, it's kind of the case that I've never tried it, and I never would because I, you know, it's, a, it's supposedly the replacement for smoking after all, and I don't want to smoke because I don't want to get addicted because I understand that there's stuff, you know, the chemical in it is, is, is addictive, nicotine. So I never wanted to get myself essentially held over a barrel by a chemical. <laughs> Looks like this area is brimming with activity, too. Yes, the guild and police are clearly on top of things. Very well. So it's not like I've uh, kept up with the research on that kind of stuff, the dangers of, the pitfalls of. But they don't really seem to be like a route to quitting for the people, do they? They never really seem to be. Situations such as this are exactly why I always warn you to err on the side of caution. So we may now avoid this very circumstance. To think that you were seen in public not only having your possessions confiscated by the police, but yelling all the while. It's extremely unfortunate that it didn't turn into a far greater incident and that the police have not charged you with anything. But how on Zemuri am I ever going to explain what happened to your father? Ah. Uh. Okay. Come on, Hardy, lay off already. I know what I did wrong. You're getting bent out of shape over nothing, seriously. I mean, okay, I appreciate you covering for me while I was all worked up earlier. I mean, to be fair, he was under the influence of an illicit drug. I believe the main issue with apes is not knowing what the long-term health effects of taking them is. Yeah, studies haven't been done. We kind of know about a variety of other things. We need it to be longer term for it to know about the long term effects, don't we? Don't be shy, step right up. You're gonna love what I have for sale. Better act fast, though. I'm only getting more customers. The store's as popular as ever. Hey there. You said the same thing you did earlier. Here? Well, I guess I could exchange for Sep if Hey there. What'll it be? See ya. 35k. It's one of those questions whenever <laughs> anything new comes onto the market. After all, we've used various things like uh, asbestos and all that going, Oh, this is good for task. And now what asbestos is, you know what I mean? <laughs> Shit, I didn't expect this to turn into such a big deal. They find out I was smoking that stuff. I'm in for a lot more than a write-up next time. I'm gonna keep my head low and just try to do my job for now. Do my job and hope for the best. Yeah. I mean, you do have an out, I guess. The police came around confiscating all the hookers along the street earlier. Now that I think about it, the visitors around here began getting more violent right around the time those things began showing up. Makes you wonder if it's got anything to do with drugs, so I'm glad we kept our distance from them. Granted, if whatever they're smoking helps them calm down, so we have to rough... <laughs> so we have to rough fewer people up. It's hard to complain about that. You know that nightclub down the street? Sounds like one of his more popular girls is quitting. Supposedly she got scowled by somebody in the film industry. The owner isn't going to stop her either, seemingly. You have to admire a show of respect like that. It's got to be a blow to their bottom line, losing someone like her. Hmm. <sighs> well. And also, I don't see the reason for using a vapor's like, Ooh, it tastes like bubblegum. It tastes so sweet. It tastes so nice. Just have a sweet. <laughs> I know it's the delivery of the drug, nicotine, that you want, but still. My beautiful savior. Here she's going to be quitting the nightclub. Could it be true? I mean, yeah, I'm excited to watch her perform in the parade, but if she doesn't come back to the club, wh what am I supposed to do? She and I have made so many wonderful memories there. She can't just leave. I was I was even starting to think about maybe settling down the city. Like, I finally found my home, but now, now what? This dog's completely lost it. Even I can't imagine throwing literally everything away for a girl like this, sad sack. If, if that girl gets picked up for the film festival and she, she gets farther and farther out of reach, then... Does that mean I won't be able to watch her dance anymore? Will I not be able to breathe the same air as her? Gazing her from farther and farther away, will that will that still give me the strength to live like before? Oh. He's very wrapped up. People get addicted to nicotine bubblegum too, which is just supposed to help with the quitting, yeah. 
Well, I think that's a bit more proven to be safer, isn't it? I'll win next time. And definitely miles, miles better than smoking. Probably better than vaping? Again, I haven't looked at studies. Police officers just paid us a visit. Apparently, they're confiscating all the hookers due to some kind of issue that was uncovered. I made it clear we don't deal in those sorts of things in my casino, but I can't deny some of our customers have smoked them. Especially Morad over there. I'm worried about him. He had quite a lot to smoke. But frankly, smoking that much of anything is cause for concern, hooker or no. It's out of your hands. Alright, I got myself another 10 million mirror. Time to turn this into a payout for the ages. Yeah, at this point, I bet this, <laughs> I bet like this is jump change. What's a little extra now if it means that much bigger a return later when I win it big, right? Now he's still right. off on the gambling thing. I don't know if it's maybe that he's gambled so much oh, and he's trying to on. desperately win it back and he's in that kind of bargaining state. The police paid us a visit a little while ago asking if we dealt with orbital hookers. Some of our customers have been known to enjoy them and apparently some sort of problem has cropped up. I don't know what the issue is, but whatever's going on, those cops looked awfully serious. Something must be wrong with those hookers. I saw police officers going around confiscating them. Not that I'll miss them, personally. It'll be interesting seeing how people react to having something so trendy disappear overnight, though. It'll definitely make it worth going people watching at the film festival tomorrow, that's for sure. Hopefully they've been stopped from reaching outside of... Uh are bad because in a city state it's probably easier to like get that information around and stuff if it's gone to like some kind of like village or something a police officer came by a little while ago looks like they're out confiscating some kind of device causing trouble there have been so many problems around here lately it's hard not to feel like Farbad's getting a little dicey not to mention it's the day before the film festival too who knows what's going to happen once folks start showing up do you know what you want never i hope to see you again Welcome, I'll be your card game dealer tonight. Harold had some matters to attend to and took off a little while ago. Oh? For someone new here, he's actually quite the card shop. I don't know if I'll be as good of a match as him, but I'll try my best. What? Was he one of the thingy brothers? <laughs> now I'm like, he's like, oh, I should have paid more attention to his face. <laughs> I had to confiscate literally every piece of unauthorized merchandise that Speciality Shop had out on display. The staff were very apologetic about the whole thing. It seems that they weren't informed about what it was they were handling. Apparently, the vendor originally sold it was going around to each store taking advantage of the film festival campaign. The nerve of them, tricking innocent stores into circulating such dangerous goods, justice must be met. I guess they don't have any, like, standards body then that says, like, this is a... Uh, classed as X or Y and can be sold. I'm glad to see you're not naked. I overheard some of the shopkeepers talking earlier. Apparently those orbital hookers aren't allowed or something. You don't think they put any dangerous substances or anything in them, do you? No. Am I am I gonna be okay? I might have taken a few puffs, I'm kinda worried. <sighs> well. Yeah. <laughs> well. What the hell? Where did all the hookers go? And why are there so many cops in front of the shop? Oh no, don't tell me they were laced with something illegal. I'm gonna get arrested for smoking them. Oh no, I don't want to run jail. They've got to understand I have tall, dark, and handsome access to meet. <laughs> wow, people are twigging though. How could a store like ours put illicit goods up for sale? They were sold to us as being distributed by some well known company running a campaign, and we just took them at face value. I know I own it could be impulsive to a fault, but I know if what it would lead to this sort of trouble. It does seem like a regulatory oversight. I... I can't believe my newest products were so dangerous to customers. I really failed as a merchant not catching on to such issues before I bought them in the first place. The police haven't put any blame on me, which I appreciate, but I still feel terrible. I have to own up to my mistake as a businessman. Not only by helping the police collect them, but refunding people who brought them for me. I kind of really wanted to go to the person in the bazaar selling original hookahs. Because it would be really interesting to hear him gloat. Right. Probably would. Welcome. Thank you for coming. The march of time's terrible. Stop buying the stuff. 
progress back. We await your next visit. In this case, yes. Oh, I'm so in love with this brand. The police came by earlier and took a handful of our products away. They couldn't possibly be related to the recent discord that's taken place around the city, could they? I'll have to talk with the owner of the store. We need to be able to sell our gear as we have been, no matter what. What can I do for you? I'm always checked just in case you randomly put an item in. If I miss this all stupid right. vending machine after all. I guess words going out that those all hookers were utilizing illegal ingredients. That's insane to even think about. I've taken apart the heating element, but I can't say I'm well versed in the leaves themselves, so they sure had me fooled. Sheesh. <sighs> hey, welcome. I'm sure I'll be able to uh, set this up a little better in the future. Thanks, pal. My orbits. <laughs> but I'm quite glad to get that ability. That's a ridiculous damage figure. Hmm. Nothing on the board, I guess. That's one you nil. Well, look at the cat dragged in. Seems we owe you once again for the information you supplied us within this case. I won't ask how you even came about that information. Right now we need to determine the provenance of those orbital hookers. Is everything going to be okay with them? It sounds like they've spread like wildfire across the city. We're managing. We, the local police and the guild are all working together to confiscate them from every business in possession of one. Our official excuse to avoid a commotion is that they contain unauthorized ingredients, though some customers may be skeptical. It's backbreaking work getting it all done. The CID wasn't helping behind the scenes, I don't know how we'd manage this ourselves. I guess with the folks who've already smoked, we'll be telling them a little more and following up with them later. Glad to hear things with Rene and his people going well enough at least. I feel a little uneasy about not doing more of those smokers, but I imagine you're pressed for time and resources here. Indeed, I suppose we should consider ourselves lucky that the devices in question have not managed to proliferate outside of Farbad. Quite. With all of the Central Eastern VIPs here, this could have turned into an international incident if we'd been slower. Believe me, as police, we wish there was more we could do, playing the hand we've been dealt as best we can. The CID has already determined how it will go about controlling the information for this case, as well as gradual disclosure to the public. That means our only job as police is to gather the hookers and round up the perpetrators. I'm not exactly keen on being important for the CID, but if nothing else, at least it allows us to focus on what we do best. I'm still held in my brain by the word infest versus inebriation. It's not just drugs, it's also control. <laughs> From range? Remote? When I got the emergency call, I was pretty irritated, but knowing that drug contamination is involved, I understand the urgency now. Flipping substances into unsuspecting people's hookers is no laughing matter. We're talking about public safety at this point. I think my girlfriend and I were going to smoke some of that stuff too. Talk about dodging a bullet. Bad cop. Smoking the Don't illegal substances. Sorry. I saw a bunch of policemen going around taking away all the hookers earlier. I wonder if some kind of defect was found in them. Hygiene regulations are pretty strict these days. <laughs> they do have regs then. Those all hookers burst on the scene so suddenly it honestly wouldn't shock me if they had some sort of problem. What'll it be for today? Thanks a bunch. But this also like weirdly freaks me out now. Because at this point I was kind of thinking, okay, we get the we get the populace inebriated and controlled by this drug that uh and then the carnal cavalcade goes crazy or something. But it seems like we're actually dealing with it. It depends if maybe like the inebriation or whatever effects go away and like the control remains. Is that what infest means? Just because you go back from the original effects doesn't mean the control bit isn't there. Maybe. Look around all you like. Peace out. <laughs> 